In this video I'm going to be using the Gibbs equation to calculate the minimum temperature for a reaction to become feasible or spontaneous. So there is the Gibbs equation delta G equals delta H minus T delta S and we said in a previous video that for a reaction to be spontaneous or feasible delta G must be less than or equal to zero. So all we're going to do is we're going to set delta G at zero. We're going to rearrange and solve for T. So what we'll do therefore is find the temperature that would give us this zero delta G. And that's going to give us the first temperature, the minimum temperature for this reaction to become feasible or spontaneous. So I'm sure that's so straightforward for you. You can cope with the question straight away. So I'll just quickly run through the question and then you pause the video, have a go, and I'll go through the answers when you're ready. So we've got a, a reaction. We've got ammonium chloride, solid ammonium chloride, going to ammonia gas and HCl gas. And we're told that the enthalpy change, the delta rate for that reaction is plus 176 kilojoules per mole. In red, we've got the entropy values in joules per kelvin per mole for the substances in this equation. So we can see there's 95 for the ammonium chloride, 192 for the ammonia, and 187 for the HCl. And we have to calculate the minimum temperature in degrees C that this reaction takes place spontaneously. So the first thing is obviously to write up the Gibbs equation. And of course, the minimum temperature for this reaction to take place spontaneously is when delta G is equal to zero. We then rearrange for T. So T is equal to delta H over delta S. And all we need to do now then is substitute the values for delta H and delta S into this equation and out will pop our temperature. But remember, the temperature is going to come out in Kelvin. They want it in degrees C, so we're going to do a conversion at the end. We've already got the delta H, it's 176, but we haven't got delta S. All we've got are the entropy values for the terms in the equation. How do we work out delta S? My way is the SPA method. And so it's the delta S is the entropies of the products minus the reactants. So that comes out at a value of 284 joules per kelvin per mole. And now we've got to factor in the fact that this is in joules, but delta H is in kilojoules. So I'm going to divide this by a thousand and that'll get it into kilojoules per kelvin per mole. So that gives us a kelvin temperature of 617.7. So to turn that into Celsius, degrees Celsius, I need to subtract from that 273. And that comes out at a temperature of 347 degrees C. We'll go for one more. So we've got a decomposition of zinc carbonate, thermal decomposition of zinc carbonate. We've got the delta H at plus 71 kilojoules per mole. There's your entropy values in red. Same as before, calculate the minimum temperature in degrees C that this reaction will take place spontaneously. So pause the video, you work out the answer, and then we'll quickly go through it. So using SPA, we get a delta S coming out as 0 0.176 kilojoules per kelvin per mole. And then if we feed those numbers in to T equals delta H divided by delta S, remember that's the rearranged Gibbs equation with delta G equal to zero. So we get 71 divided by the 0 0.176. In Kelvin, we have a temperature of 403.4. Minus 273 gives us 130 degrees C. So we'll just finish off with a quick discussion. So once we know the temperature, we've calculated the minimum temperature, will the reaction happen? And surprise, surprise, the answer is, well, not necessarily. 
possible reason? And the answer I always give is the activation energy might be too high. So yeah, the reaction's feasible, yet it doesn't need a constant supply of energy from the surroundings, but it won't actually take place until we've got the reactant over this energy barrier. If that's too high, the reaction won't happen.